Therefore, for Nigeria to rebuild, Amnesty International must be out of the way and out of the way for good. CASA therefore gives Amnesty International a seven-day ultimatum to leave Nigeria. The NGO's failure to leave Nigeria will attract civil disobedience at its offices both in Abuja and Lagos on a scale that will make the campaign of looting and arson it facilitated appear like child's play. Amnesty International's offices and those of all its affiliated organizations and known supporters in Nigeria will be set upon the same way that its agents destroyed critical assets in the country. Its staffers will be treated the same way that innocent policemen and our children, lynched by mobs, were treated. The countdown for the seven-day ultimatum begins now. The protesters might have made the misleading claim of a massacre at Lekito Gate and the lie that 78 people were killed, but it took Amnesty International's amplification of that lie for the international community and supranational organizations to wrongly accuse and condemn Nigeria and its government. It is shocking that this credibility challenged organization has continued to amplify the fake news it earlier published. We have seen Amnesty International's operatives running the security media houses to continue advancing the claim that there was a massacre. Yet, when Amnesty International Nigeria Chief Representative Osai Ojigo was asked on Arise TV by anchor Charles Aniagolu what the NGO's evidence was, she failed to provide a single shred of evidence. She was asked for evidence that any person had been shot by the Nigerian army at Lekki Tollgate, and she spectacularly failed to substantiate the claims she and her organization are still making without proof till today. Wow, this is unbelievable. Very, very serious. Can you imagine the way this woman is speaking with all manner of seriousness and confidence, threatening Amnesty International? You could hear what she said there. Hmm, that if they don't desist, that what happened to innocent policemen and our children. And if it, again, she's even trying to say that uh, the information given out there was not even the right information. You know, that is the same thing we've been talking about. They said, oh, uh, the 78 people, not 20, 78 people, not, uh, not uh, 300 people, not 1,000 people that died. And the question is that who ordered the shooting? The, another question is that did people die or not? Those are the questions. Whether it is one person or two people, we've been so, saying this whole thing again. It only took the a whole nation to come and rescue one person in Nigeria. The U.S. government, it took them, it just it took them to come and rescue a, a just a person. You know, because we don't even value lives here, because I say just a person as if it's just a person. You know, that is the way they they take it. One person, even if one person dies, it's not, it's not, it's not a big deal. Ten people die, it's not, it's not really a big thing. So they want people to be dying like 300, 500, 1,000. That is when the government will take it serious. And at the end of the day, they will continue to deny it. You can hear what this woman is saying. You can imagine. Everything that happened is none of their business because they are trying to protect the government. And we will continue to have this kind of problem. Because no matter what, in any government, we will have some people that are going to be benefiting from there. Whether... And we like it or not and those are the people that will be working and working against the masses working against the good governance that we are supposed to be experiencing even as a people you can imagine these are the people that will be telling them lies or maybe they are paid because from this particular if you really you are an ngo that you are supposed to be neutral you will know what happened there the same not quite long the presidency released the true loretta noche Release the video that said nobody was shot. You can imagine. Because they have already believed that whatever they are going to say is what they are going to say. And again, if the Lagos state or the government itself is the one organizing or instituted that a judicial panel, do you think any meaningful thing will come out of the whole thing? No, nothing. Nothing will come out of the whole thing. No truth will come out. I'm just surprised to see the way the energy that this woman is using. And again, what she has said, she doesn't even know the meaning or the implication of what she has said. Threatening 
Amnesty International. They even giving them seven days to leave Nigeria. Unfortunate. <laughs> and a lot of people are really concerned with this video that uh, this NGO released. This woman saying and talking all what she believes that uh, she's saying. How do these people get airtime and press conference and declare mayhem and, and nobody arrests them? Hmm. What kind of a thing is this? Well, please pay me remember by this thing. And also, we need a phone number as well. Yeah, people need a phone number. You all forgive her. I don't think she knows the organization she's threatening. Of course, <laughs> Amnesty International, she's threatening them. Of course, this kind of people will be having the back of, uh, backing of the government. Even the government, if the government should have spoken through their spokespeople uh, and their social media aids, then she needs to learn from the actions they will take against her. Who can get this woman's number for us? We need to wish her well. Happy birthday. May God's blessing, favor, and countenance shine upon you. Well, uh, India shut down Amnesty International Office and freeze their account to their evil deeds against that nation. Amnesty International has no power over everyone. They are paid and sponsored to run down governments. Why haven't they handled the U.S. and Britain, France, and Russia? They support uh, Boko Haram against the government. Okay, like me, it's fixed your reasoning in a bit. Can any organization survive without funding? So how does a Boko Haram survive, survive without CBN or other financial houses, not knowing their source? God deal. What is, uh, what is your, to be sure, they are sponsored by him? Emotions apart, we can condemn her for threatening them in manner she did. But you can't condemn the fact that Amnesty International was wrong for spreading fake news. They should be sincere. They should be sourced for facts, not fake news. Really? Fake news? Uh, which one is fake news? The governor of Lagos State confirmed the shooting. The army accepted that, the, that they were in Lekki Gates. So that is the lie. So what is the lie there? Because they took the body away just because none of your family members or friends uh, bullets uh, or maybe were hit by bullets. But another thing is, again is that let's even forget about uh, whether they took some bodies or they didn't take some body. What's about the ones that died that the, the governor accepted in the first place? Because I don't know, people don't even look from the other side. We agreed from those people that are saying that, uh, oh, it is fake news, it is fake news. But initially, the army said they were not there. The governor said he didn't know anything about it. They Again, contradicted what the governor said. They said it was governor that invited them. The governor said nobody died. But later he said the two people died. So let us even look at it from that angle. From what the governor said, which he later agrees to. Because we know, everybody know, knows what he or she knows. Let's uh, base our argument on what the governor said. And those, uh, the people that he visited at the hospital, let us take it from there. Let's even leave what an Amnesty International uh, I said, even it is not even Amnesty International, you know, because of uh, the way they do things in this country, you will see black, they will call it white, and that is what is always trending. And the worst part of it is that those who are always coming from the angle of defense, defending the government that does not even care about you, let's look at it from what the governor said. You will see that some people, they will still come and argue it. They will tell you that it, it served those people right. They will not want to throw everything into the thing here. The go Lagos State Governor accepted that yes, they did that. Uh, uh, somebody died. So what are we talking about? That some they are spreading fake light. Who is not sp uh, spreading fake light here now? Amnesty International are doing more harm than good in Africa. They only operate when needed by their paymasters. Lest the government here in Nigeria intervene to call both parties to order. Okay, my auntie who has been taking care of uh, my school bees. Okay, which, which this one is saying something different. Can you explain how phone number is email and email is phone and email is phone number? Instead of us to stage a solidarity protest to declare our support for Amnesty International, we are here blaming the poor woman who will do anything to feed her hungry self. Like some of us are not aware how big the war we are fighting. Well, stop making excuses for people with hunger and poverty. Are we not all hungry? Let us go out and be threatening people uh, people 
if all those who genuinely fought and died for this country collected bribe because uh, they were hungry or afraid who would have um who would, who would have this supposed freedom how do we expect how do you expect us to have freedom everybody was, i beg i don't want to do hey, let us not say anything so that they will not come and kill you just like i said even those who are living you think you are living you think you are living so guys let's see let's hear your opinion based on what this woman has said